In this video, I'll show how to conduct a hypothesis test for paired samples and how to develop a confidence interval for paired samples on the TI-89. From the home screen, go to Apps and then find the Stats List Editor. I've already entered two lists here. We're going to work with raw data. List 1 represents students who had particular exam scores prior to a lesson and list two is the scores they earned after a lesson. We're looking at whether or not the lesson was effective at increasing students' understanding of a topic. So we've got the data that pairs up five students' information here. Now when we run a paired sample t-test or confidence interval, we want to get the difference between list one and list two. There's a couple of ways to do that in the titanium. It's not quite as easy as it is with some of the other TI calculators. One way to do this, and both ways require that you be at the top of the list, so notice list 3 is highlighted, is to click on F3, choose Names, scroll down to List 1 and click Enter, then press the minus sign, go back to F3, click on Names again, and scroll down to list 2. We've just entered a formula that tells list 3. Subtract the value in list 2 from the value in list 1. If I hit enter, it fills in the differences. Once we have our differences list set up, go to F6 for tests by clicking second and F1, and we're going to run a t-test. We just have one list, so this is a single list t-test. We have our data in a list, so we will use data. If instead we had summary statistics, we would choose stats, but we have data. We'll click OK, and we enter the difference that's hypothesized between the two lists. Standard is zero. For list, we have to tell it the name of the list, which means typing. So I'm clicking on second and alpha, and that puts it in alpha lock. And now I can spell out using the letters above the number keys, L, I, S, T, and then take it out of alpha lock, and it, my numbers are in list three. The alternate hypothesis, we would indicate what the direction of the test is. Let's just leave this here at a not equal to, but I could do a less than or a greater than, depending on what the problem calls for. Click Calculate. The T test statistic is minus 2.092, and the P value is 0.1045. So let's say that we ran this test at a 5% significance level, if the p-value is 0.1045, we would fail to reject the null because p-value is greater than alpha. And that's how we would run a paired sample t-test in the TI-89. To do the confidence interval, we already have our list set up here. We'll now go to F7 for intervals by clicking second and F2. And this is going to be a t-interval. Well, since our data is available, we'll leave it set to data. Notice that it remembers I used list three last time, so I don't have to retype it. And frequency is always left at one. Confidence level, let's run it at a 95% confidence level, and we'll click OK. It thinks for a moment and then gives me the interval. Minus 4.19 to 0.5884 is the confidence interval. Zero is captured within that mean. We cannot say that there is a difference between these two populations. And that's how you would run a paired samples t-test and t-interval in the TI-89.